Hi Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your February 2018 monthly tarot reading. We're just going to see what comes up and we're going to go from there. Just keep in mind that this may not resonate with you because it's for such a wide audience. Generally my readings are love readings. We will see what comes up. The card is Adjacent Possibilities. It means you have you have to make a choice. All right? You got to make some kind of choice this month. Interesting. Which door are you going to go in? I think you guys have multiple multiple doors opening. What's it going to be? Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to make a choice. I mean, I'm talking about you, not me, when I'm saying I'm. I'm going to have to make a choice, and it's probably not going to be the easiest choice. All right? Which door is going to give me the future that I want? Ooh. Ooh. New beginnings. I think that you guys might be stepping through a new door. You might be starting something brand new, taking a risk. Having faith, stepping through a doorway that you've never been in. You know nothing about. Wow. Capricorn, it looks like you you have more options than you even know. That's what I see. I think that you are going to be shown something that is quite amazing. All right, you, you and if you aren't shown, maybe it it just comes to you. Yeah, well, you'll be shown because it will come to you subconsciously. All right. You know, I think that you guys are stepping into unknown territory. All right. It's calling for you to have faith and trust and have take a risk. All right. It looks like this is risky business. Yeah. The thing is, is you might have to leave something behind to do this. You might all of a sudden have this spontaneous new door open and you might step into it, okay? It feels like you've been feeling insecure wherever you're at. You may be feeling insecure. You may have been feeling unhappy and withdrawn. You could have been dealing with somebody who is not, um, you're not very passionate about, passionate about okay it's like the passion has died within your relationship okay that's what I see it's like the passion has died all of a sudden somebody or something might come into your life that starts to push you in a new direction and because you're unhappy you might take steps in that direction it's like right now you're not receiving anything where you're at so you know, this could be a little enticing. It's like, ooh, what is this? You may be enticed to uh, do something out of character. All right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. It, it, it appears to me that you guys are looking at this like a chance for freedom. Ooh, I have this chance to be free. I have this new chance to um, start something new. You know, it's like, oh, this is enticing. 
it feels like something is crumbling in your life it's crumbling and it's crumbling and it's crumbling day by day by day and you're starting to be pulled in another direction quickly you know it's just ooh I'm gonna yeah, what's this you know I see enticement here like something has been falling apart and now you're being shown a new opportunity and you're seriously considering it seriously it, it, there's definitely there could be a breakup on the horizon between you and, you know, it could be even at work, okay? It feels like there is some kind of discontent within a partnership that is headed down the road of ending, okay? It's like it's, it's really close to coming to an end because nobody's happy, all right? Nobody's happy. Somebody's looking for freedom. All right. It could be you, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius as well. Leo is pretty prominent here, okay? So it just feels like this uh, security that you had, this, this stability that you had is crumbling. It's crumbling or it has fallen apart it was false it didn't turn out the way you had hoped and now you are starting to see new opportunities and you are starting to really consider them because you're trying to be practical you're trying to do the right thing for you the fact of the matter is you have given somebody your loyalty you have done the practical thing you have uh, been generous and you've been kind and you've been responsible but this person that you're dealing with is probably not really focusing on all that you have done for them they're not realizing it they may not be putting in any effort at all whoever you're dealing with with this card reverse they're not focused on you they're not it feels like they've lost their passion they have lost their interest they have lost their um, determination to even work on this partnership and that's why things are crumbling And now you're feeling like there there's no more there's no more hope. I've lost hope. <laughs> and you're wanting more. I'm looking for more. If you're not going to give me all of you, then I am going to look for more because I'm looking for you to show me all of you. And whoever you're dealing with is not, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is very withdrawn, very much into themselves at this point. They may be not able to get out of bed, uh, woe is me, very emotional. I think you're dealing with somebody who is very uh, uh, distant at this point probably very you're dealing with somebody who isn't communicating hardly at all uh, they they just are not giving you anything and that's why you're feeling all this discontent you're feeling like you know whatever's enticing you is really pulling you I think you're being pulled in another direction because somebody is not putting in any effort we're going to zoom this in and then I'm going to keep going. All right. So what is this Queen of Wands up here reversed? This this person that you are dealing with, this is a man or a woman, has lost all of their passion. They've lost their ability to, to even give energy to the relationship okay they've probably this whoever that you are dealing with 
is probably moved away. I mean, moved away from the situation mentally. You know, they have totally disengaged mentally from the foundation that they have built with you. Okay? Mentally, they are no longer there. They're just not giving. They're not giving anymore. It's like they're putting in any effort whatsoever. And, and that is pushing you away. I feel like somebody is pushing you away because they're not trying. They're not trying. They're not communicating. They're not wanting to work on the relationship. You're dealing with somebody who no longer wants to work on the relationship. Mentally, they're dis disengaged. Yeah, this person may be considering moving, you know, they may be considering, may, they may, or you may, it, it appears like somebody is considering changing their home, okay, I don't know who this is, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with, but it feels like um, there's a family feud, okay, there's a family feud going on in your life, and that somebody is considering whether they want to stay or go anyway, okay, um, No more. No more. I don't want to do this anymore. It's That's how I feel. It's like one of you, either you or the other person, is saying, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to play this game anymore. And somebody is feeling like they are stabbed in the back. They're feeling like there's way too much tension. There's way too much conflict. And they, they're, they're feeling like they're defeated, whether it's you or the other person. One of you is feeling like you are absolutely defeated and you are ready to quit. I'm ready for this change. And that's where this new beginning comes. That's where you start to see that there's other possibilities because somebody is pushing you away. You're being pushed away. And now, since you've been pushed away, since somebody is not putting in any more effort at all, you're deciding to let them go. You're deciding to become aware. You're deciding to create something new. It feels like you're willing to let them go because they're willing to let you go. If they're willing to let you go, it's like, okay, if you're willing to let me go, I guess I'll have to let you go too. You know, this is what I see. It feels like you are becoming aware of the possibilities and you are using all the the resources within you to get through this and the resources even resources that you don't even know you have are coming to fruition it's like the resources your subconscious your conscious whatever all of that is is really working in your favor and i think that because you're handling this so well you know you are really remaining in control with this person not reciprocating not communicating not giving you what you want not not owning up to their end of the bargain or whatever the case is it feels like because you're handling it so well you're being given this opportunity for a new beginning elsewhere somebody has been being dishonest okay there's some dishonesty here um, or not accepting the truth. Who's not accepting the truth in this matter? Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody's not accepting the truth that it's time to move on, that it's time to move forward. You know, I feel like there's some bitterness. Somebody's pretty bitter about this whole situation. There's been some, um, maybe there's been some abuse, verbal abuse, mental abuse, emotional abuse in this situation. Perhaps with your partner, maybe they've been trying to manipulate you or whatnot into thinking that this is all you. You know, that's what it feels like to me. It feels like you've been very unhappy because somebody is trying to point the finger all at you. Um, and I feel like you are finally deciding that no, 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 it's not all me. You know, you decided to really open your eyes and to be honest about this situation. It's time to be true. It's time to be honest about what is going on. This really isn't working out. There's way too many conflicts. Um, 
I really have to have a new outlook here. It's time to be truthful. It's time to be honest. No more lies. No more deceit. No more pretending. Um, and you know, it feels like it's it's a time of independence. I think that somebody is becoming independent, but I, it feels like um, you're becoming independent, or you are feeling independent. It's, there's a lot of loneliness here. Like I've been lonely anyway. You know, even with you in my life, I've been lonely. You haven't been giving me what I desire, you know, and, and you've been lying to me this whole time anyway. Somebody's lying here, and I don't know who it is, whether it's you or the other person. Somebody's lying, whether they're lying to themselves or not. You know, there's a karmic lesson to be learned, and it hasn't been learned yet with that world card reversed. You know, there's a new beginning right around the horizon, oh, right around the horizon, right around the corner. <laughs> but something has to be completed first, and that's exactly what I see. I feel like you have a new opportunity, a new beginning, but you have to complete the cycle that you're in. I think for some of you that are watching this, not everybody, okay? For some of you that are watching this, you are in a commitment or a relationship with somebody that's not fulfilling, okay? It's not fulfilling you in any way whatsoever, um, sexually, emotionally, um, period, okay? You're not being fulfilled, and you have to end that, and as, I think that as soon as you end that, you will step into something new. I do. I think it's that quick, okay? Now, that will not resonate for everybody. If somebody is hanging on to something that no longer serves them, it's like you're stuck. You're stuck. You know that it's time to let go, but you've attached yourself to this person, and now you're resisting the change, and you're being called to struggle through it and look at this as a new beginning. Instead of looking at, as a, looking at it as a failure, instead of looking at it as, you know, oh shit, that is, this didn't work out, you need to look at it as we gave it our best shot, it didn't work out. Let's both move on and be happy. You know, I see that you need to look at things from a new perspective. You need to remember all that you've been through, okay? You've come a long way. You've learned a lot through this journey. I feel like you are, have, are, have been are very wounded by this, okay? And now your guard is up and you're really, really scared. I feel like there's a lot of fear okay you have a lot of fear about what the future holds um, and that you need to have strength you need to have strength for what's to come alright I feel like one of the reasons you are staying in the situation that is not fulfilling is because of pride pride is getting in the way of your new beginning you have so many more possibilities in front of you if you uh, don't let ego get in the way, okay? Don't let your ego get in the way. Your happiness matters. I feel like you have attached to something and it didn't work out and now your pride is keeping you there. And you're resisting the change, but I feel like this month you may not, you may start to not resist it. You might start to really open your eyes and start to uh, ease the grip. You might be, you know, somebody might be enticing you to go through another door, and you may just start taking steps in that direction. <laughs> oh yeah, you might. I feel like you know somebody could come into your life, you know, unexpectedly and. You know, you have this connection with them, and it is out of this world, and there's a lot of seduction and uh, feelings of passion, and you feel familiar with this person, and, you know, this person that comes into your life, it's a big decision, but the connection is there, and all of a sudden, you decide to perhaps head in that direction. This card is about a union, an unexpected union in love. So I feel like somebody is probably going to come into your life, spark your interest, and entice you to walk through their door. 
and because of the current situation you're in with whoever you're with that is not reciprocating, not communicating, not giving to the relationship, you may just go. You may just end up getting a divorce or filing for divorce, okay? That could happen because you decide that there's more for you. The possibilities are endless because you have a new beginning. There could be a divorce or a split on the horizon, okay? Because it's time for you to follow your inner guide. It's time for you to follow your own path. It's time for you to listen. Listen to your inner guide. All right? But you haven't been doing. But I think that this month you're going to seriously think about it. Okay? I really do. I feel like it's decision making time. I think somebody comes into your life and the attraction is uh, undeniable. And they might entice you to uh, head in their direction. And you might just do that. Because your wishes are not being fulfilled right now. And you're sick of it. You're sick of going backwards. There's no forward movement in the current relationship that you're in. And if you're single and... Well, yeah. If you're single and you're still hung up on the past, you may consider going with this new person because you know that the past is never coming back, that you're never going to make it with the past. Do you know what I'm trying to say? This Wheel of Fortune is reversed because it's time for you to start a new chapter, but you, you haven't done it yet. You're in a state of... Uh, what's the word? can't think of the word a state of uh, like a stalemate you know you're stuck you're stuck right now you're in, you're just not going forward at any rate you're stuck in a spot where there's no forward movement but the fact of the matter is is it's time it's time for a change it's time for you to start the new chapter it's time for you to have this new beginning but it's up to you to take action Okay? It's time for you to change the path that you're on. But right now, you haven't. Or you have it in the past. It's like you've been just dealing with this, dealing with this, dealing with this. But I feel like new love is definitely coming in. New love is coming in for you this month. And it's going to come unexpectedly. This person is not your usual type. They don't look like your ex. They don't look like your usual type. And this person that comes in um, is basically going to sweep you off your feet. Okay? They are going to be so seductive and enticing that it's going to be very, very hard for you to not walk through their door. Okay? I feel a lot of intense uh, vibrations between you and this person. This person um, This person knows that you're having uh, relationship problems. I think you know this person. I do. I think you know this person, and I think this person knows that you are having problems, and they are want to help you. They do. They, they, they like you. They're interested in you, and they want to help you. So, you know, this person, I think they know what's going on in your life. I think you know who this person is, and... They want to come in and basically be your rescuer. <laughs> Isn't that funny? They want you to, to come into their doorway so that they can help you to heal. So that they can nurture you and they can take care of you. That's <laughs> funny, isn't it? 
yeah i think i think that it's somebody that you know that is going that is trying to entice you to leave your current toxic situation that is going nowhere they want to take care of you <laughs> that's what i see that's what i see somebody that you know knows what you're going through and they want to come in and and take care of you now it's like you know what i love you i will take care of you i'm the one that's meant to be with you it's like that song you know where the girl's sitting on the stands with the t-shirt on and i'm the wonder for you i don't know what that is but she'll never be me i don't know what the song is but that's what i'm thinking it's like there's somebody that is watching you that is seriously somebody has knows exactly what's going on in your life and they know that you're suffering somebody is making you suffer and they want to come in they want to come to your rescue that's what i see it's like somebody's going to come to your rescue and i think because you've been suffering and this person is so enticing and they are seductive and they're offering you so much that you might just do it interesting interesting Now, this is not going to re resonate with everybody, okay? I'm just saying, this is for at least one person, and that's what I have to go with. I have to go with what I see. <sighs> Energy work. Life can be electrifying because its very essence is energy. Your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments. Your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients. This card tells me that somebody is going to love you. They're going to offer you love and it's going to be hard to say no, whether you are single or couple. I feel like somebody is going to come in to sweep you off your feet. I think it's somebody that you know and they've been watching you and they know that you have been suffering whether you're alone or in a relationship or whatnot. Somebody knows, has been seeing you suffer and they want to come in and offer you love and support. That's how I feel. That's what I think. Ground yourself. When you detach from awareness of your body and the physical world, you become ungrounded. Although it's pleasant to float heavenward, your attention and work are needed upon the earth. We are helping you balance the spiritual and material so that you can enjoy a fulfilling earthly life. If you are in a coupled relationship and everything is going great, then this reading is not for you okay this is for somebody who is really struggling and I feel like somebody is gonna come in to offer them a new beginning but you are gonna be called to take a risk you're gonna have to take a risk whether you're single or couple you are going to have to take a risk and the possibilities are endless. So Capricorn, this is for February 2018. If you're single or whatever, coupled, I don't know. I feel like new love is coming into your life. And you are going to either, I think you might just go through the door. <laughs> and that's what I have. Talk to you later.